What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install new Votifier onto your Apex panel. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our tutorial videos. In Minecraft, playing on multiplayer servers can be a lot of fun, especially with different cosmetics and stuff like that to unlock. But sometimes you want to be more involved in the server, and you want to add a vote system. Introducing New Votifier. New Votifier is a plugin that will notify the server when it receives a vote from an external website. Before we jump into it though, you first need to know that you can find any links related to this video in the description below. Whether that be the blog page or the actual website in order to install the plugin below. Just go down there under useful links and you'll find it there. First let's talk about how to download it. So first head into your Google search bar and type in new Votifier or click the link in the description and you'll come across the spigot page. It should be one of the first links that appear. From here, you'll encounter a page that looks like this, and here you can check out the overview, version history, but what you're going to want to click is the download now button. This will start the download and we'll move on. Next let's talk about how to install it into the panel. First you want to run a server type that accepts plugins. Paper is what we recommend, and I'll be running Paper 1.16.5. Stop your server and wait for that to get done. Then once it's stopped, you're going to head to the left hand side where you see FTP file access. You're going to want to locate that and then select it. On this new page you're going to type in your server panel password or if you happen to have a cache password because you've been in here before you can just click login. From here you want to scroll down to where you see the plugins folder. You're going to select that once you locate it. Next you're going to click the upload button on the left hand side and finally you're going to click and drag the new Votifier plugin into your add file section in this upload area. This may take a minute to get to 100, but once it does, you're going to head back to the main page of your panel by clicking the server name at the top and either start or restart your server in order to get the plugin loaded properly. Next, we'll move on. To configure the plugin, you're first going to want to stop your server and you're going to copy your IP just in case we need it and I'll show you why in a second. So once you've copied it, you're going to head to FTP file access once again, head to plugins where you have just recently installed it, and this time you'll see new Votifier in a folder. You're going to go ahead and click that folder. There should be a config.yml file, and you're going to go to the right hand side of that file and click edit. From here, this is the page that we're going to use the IP address. If it isn't already filled in with your IP address, then you're going to switch host to your IP address and then the next thing that we're going to take a look at is the port. The port is essentially what the votes are sent over. You want to try picking a port that's not currently in use. Just string together four numbers at random and if it works then that's great but continue to do that until it works. Click save once you're done and you're going to head back to the main page of your panel once again by clicking the server name at the top and either start or restart to get any changes saved permanently. Once it's done restarting, you'll be good to go. From here, the plugin will actually need a vote listener, so just go ahead and download a vote listener like this one right here, which can also be located in the description below. And of course, you're going to go through the same process that I just showed you. You're going to stop the server, go to your FTP file access. You guys know what to do at this point, gamers. And once you're done with that process, you're going to go ahead and restart your server once more to get everything fixed. Well, that just about does it for this one, gamers. It's not super complicated, and there is a bit in terms of panel to work with, but hopefully this guide helped figure everything out. Well, that'll just about do it, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.